What's up everyone, let's talk about the home button on the iPad screen. You've probably seen someone having this type of home button on their iPad and maybe you'd like to try it out too. But the question is, where can you find it? I'm going to be explaining it all right now, so let's, um, let's get started. The virtual home button is part of a feature called assistive touch, which is incredibly useful if your physical home button is broken or if you prefer not to use it. Assistive touch provides a virtual button that can perform various functions, including acting as a home button. Here's how you can enable and customize this feature. First, open the settings app on your iPad. From the main menu, navigate to the accessibility section. Accessibility settings offer various options to make your device easier to use. And assistive touch is one of these powerful features. Scroll down within the accessibility settings and select assistive touch. Once you're in the assistive touch menu, you'll see an option to enable it at the top. Toggle the switch to turn on assistive touch. As soon as you enable it, you'll notice a small circular button appear on your screen. It can be moved around to wherever is most convenient for you. Now let's talk about customizing this virtual button. In the assistive touch menu, um, there's an option called customize top level menu. Tap on this to adjust the functions of the assistive touch button. You can set the single button to perform the home button action directly, or you can add other icons and functions that you frequently use. This customization makes it easy to access multiple features quickly without having to navigate through various screens. It's worth noting that you don't necessarily need the virtual home button to exit apps on your iPad. You can always swipe up from the bottom of the screen to return to the home screen, even on older iPads that have a physical home button. This swipe gesture is a handy alternative and keeps your screen less cluttered if you prefer not to use assistive touch. However, if you like having the virtual home button for its convenience and added functionality, assistive touch is a great solution. It offers flexibility and ease of use, especially if the physical home button isn't working properly or if you simply prefer a touch-based interface. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Fox Tech for more tech tips and tutorials. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. See you guys later.